believe in? Allah. Well, I'm a Christian. Can you tell me why do you believe in Allah? Because as far as I see, I see Muslim people bow down to a black cube. Why do they do that? Pilgrimage. Huh? Pilgrimage. But why, you know, does your God live in the black cube? So why do Muslims bow down to it? Huh? Sorry? I'm not that religious. No, so can I share the gospel with you? Basically, I'm a Christian and I want to say to you that the portrayal of Jesus Christ in, in, you know, in the Quran is false. Um, because what do you think? I mean, do you know anything about Jesus Christ? Because is, is, he, is he coming back according to Islam? Yeah. So do you think he, what do you, what, what do you know about him? Because Muhammad is not coming back, Allah is not coming back, but Jesus. So do you know, do you, what do you know about him? Oh, he's a son of God, he's going to come back. He's a son of God, that's right, yes. But where do you get the idea that he's a son of God? Oh, I just see it. But maybe, maybe you, you know, you know, maybe there is, basically in Islam, Allah doesn't have a son because he, he doesn't have a wife, so he's a bit limited. But you're right, Jesus is the son of God and he is the savior of the whole world. And he came to die for you and for me and to give you eternal life if you accept him as your Lord and savior. What do you think about that? Are you ready to accept him? Are you ready to accept him? Huh? What? Well, do you t tell me what are your thoughts on um, on this? Because basically, you know, I I tell you, I love Muslim people, you know, and that's why I want to share the gospel with them. Because basically, two billion people believe in a false Jesus, you know. Um, you know, this person called Isa never existed. You know, the real Jesus is um, God that came in the flesh and he died for us so that we can have forgiveness of our sins by the blood of Jesus Christ and unfortunately Muhammad was deceived you know and by a spirit uh, a demonic spirit because you know Allah never spoke to Muhammad did you know that yeah you don't know anyway can I leave you with this you know maybe you can read it. it is um, part of the Bible um, you know you can read it for your information um, because I, I guess, are you just a cultural Muslim? Mm -hmm. Are you just a cultural Muslim? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, would you be open to looking into other religions? I'm not planning to, but read it. Yeah, read it because you know the truth is found uh, in the gospel. And uh, like I said, Muhammad. Do you know that Muhammad didn't know where he was going when he died? When, when in, you know who Sayyid Bukhari is? I don't know what. Well, I, I'm educating you, so you know, because I evangelize some Muslim people. Basically, um, you know, do you know about hadiths? Hadiths. Hadiths. Yeah. Well, basically, Muhammad died. You know, he said that he didn't know where he was going, and also in in the Quran, do you know that all Muslim people will go to hell? Do you know about this? It's true. It's in, in in the Quran. It says that you know, all Muslim people, all people will go to hell, and then Allah will take some people out of there, you know, people who truly, you know, basically it's a deception, it's a deception, you know, and uh, because in the Bible it is written that when death comes, judgment is set, you know, and you either go to be with God or you're damned forever. But in Islam they teach you that, you know, basically if you die, you know, you will go to hell and then God will take you, Allah will take you out. But this is not real information and it's a deception. So anyway, I want to invite you to the truth. I'm not here to test your knowledge or anything. I just want you to... Um, to can I pray for you before you go? Hmm? Can I pray for you before you go? Okay. Um, Heavenly Father, I pray for this young man. He doesn't know much about his religion, but he seems open. And when I asked him, Lord, who is Jesus? He said he's the Son of God. I pray, in the Bible it says that only the people who have the Holy Spirit confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I pray, Lord, that you will lead him to the truth that leads to salvation and protect him, Lord, um, from any issues. You know, if he decides to turn to the truth, protect him and strengthen him. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, God bless you. Take care. I mean, this is interesting, you know, this uh, young man didn't know much about Islam. A lot of people don't know much about their religion. They're just born into it. But when I asked him, who is Jesus, you know what he said? He said he's the son of God. How interesting is that, you know? 
So anyway, if you're watching this, pray for him. He took the Bible, he let me pray, and he could be on his way to salvation, just like that.